Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Yasin Yusufzai and you are watching my YouTube channel. Guys, uh, as you know that I delivered a lecture on uh, the topic of sentence. So today I will explain the types of sentences. So uh, in order to keep in your mind the definition of sentence, uh, I will say that uh, a sentence is a group of words usually containing a verb that expresses a thought based on a statement, an exclamation, a question or a command. So guys, today I will explain the types of sentences that uh, how many kinds of sentences are there in English. So according to function, sentences are divided into four types. So we have the four kinds of sentences according to the function. The first one is declarative sentence and the second one is interrogative sentence. The third one is imperative sentence and the fourth one is exclamatory sentence. So uh, I will come towards the first type, declarative sentence. A declarative sentence makes a statement and it ends with a period. The, for example, we have these two examples, the boy is happy. So in this sentence, there is a common statement, a clear statement. There is no any negation, no any interrogation, or no any, uh, you know, command, etc. That's why this is the simple sentence, which is called the declarative sentence. Now, the boy is happy, okay? The boy goes to school, okay? The boy works hard. The students are learning English. These all are declarative sentences. Coming towards the second interrogative sentence, an interrogative sentence, uh, an interrogative sentence asks a question. Okay, in this type of sentence, we will find question. For example, uh, who is your teacher? So in this sentence, as you know, that there is a question. Okay, now this type of sentences always in with uh, a question mark you you know we have this question mark okay now have you ever gone to Europe uh, in this sentence you see that there is a question okay now coming towards the third type of sentence which is imperative sentence an imperative sentence expresses a request command or in order in these types of sentences, we have requests, commands, or in order. Okay, for example, we have, uh, please give me your notebook. In this sentence, you see that there is uh, a request. That's why it is called an imperative sentence. Okay, now we have go to school. And this sentence we have a command okay which is go to school that's why it is an imperative sentence now we have tell me who he is okay now this is also an imperative sentence coming towards the fourth one example of a sentence according to function is exclamatory sentence in this type of sentence we have uh, the expression of certain feelings or strong emotions okay okay how you, what kind of emotions or feelings we can describe in such sort of sentences we have the emotions or feelings of happiness sadness anger surprise fear or excitement in uh, these types of sentences always end with exclamatory sign or exclamatory or sign of exclamation now, for example, we have, oh my God. In this sentence, there is the expression of surprise. Okay, that's why it is called exclamatory sentence. Okay, now we have, oh, here comes your father. In this sentence, you know, we have the expression of sadness. Okay, that, oh, here comes your father. That's why it is called exclamatory sentence. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. 
uh, please subscribe to my channel and share my video with your friends uh, if Allah wills uh, I will deliver my uh, next lecture on uh, the types of sentences according to the form according to the structure okay thank you so much